Suppose you have a list of your daily or monthly transactions. You want to know in which transaction category you are spending the most or vice versa. You can get this quickly by calculating the percentage of total of every transaction category in Excel. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VV related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid and in today's video I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to calculate percentage of total in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. You can calculate the percentage of a part by dividing it by the total value and then multiplying the result by 100. We denote the percentage value with the percentage symbol. I'll use the sum function to get the total value first. And then we'll divide the individual value by the total to get the percentage of total. I'll demonstrate it by two real-life examples. I have a data set with individual expense category and their respective amount. I want to find the individual category expenses in percentage of the total expense in column D. In cell C16, I will calculate the total expenses using the sum functions. I input the formula in cell C16 equal to sum, press tab to insert the highlighted function. As the number one argument, select cells in the C5 to C14. Close the parenthesis. This formula adds up the numbers in cells C5 through C14 to give you the total sum. Press the enter button on your keyboard and you will find the output here. In cell D5, I want to calculate the individual expense in percent of total expense. So input the formula in the cell equal to C5 divided by C16. Press F4 on the keyboard to create absolute reference. Here, these two dollar signs are used to create an absolute reference. This means that when you copy or fill the formula to other cells, the reference of cell C16 will not change. The dollar signs lock the reference, ensuring it always points to this cell, regardless of where you copy the formula. Press Enter and you will find the output. Hover your mouse over the bottom right corner of cell D5. You will find the fill handle icon. Double click on the icon to obtain all the individual expenses in percent of total expenses across the cells D5 to D14. Excel automatically shows the result in decimal values. This is why cells D5 to D14 are showing values in decimal. Let's convert these cells values to percentages. Select cell D5 to D14, go to the home tab. In the number group of commands, you will find the percent style icon. You can click on this icon to apply percent style or press Ctrl plus Shift plus percent sign in your keyboard to do the same and see the result. I have a data set with the student's mark sheet. It has the student's marks in three subjects and the total marks of the students. I want to find the individual student's mark in percentage of the total mark. In cell F5, I'll calculate the obtained mark using the sum function. So I input the formula in cell F5 equal to sum as the number one argument select cells in the C5 to E5 range. Close the parenthesis. Press enter and that's the output. Use the fill handle icon to get the obtained marks of all students across cells F5 to F14. In cell H5, I'll calculate the individual student's mark in percent of the total marks. Enter the formula in cell H5 equal to F5 divided by G5. Press enter. Again, use the fill handle tool. Now, I'll apply the percentage format, but in a bit different way. Select cells in the H5 to H14 range, go to the Home tab, in the Number group of commands, click on the drop-down icon of Number format, and select the percentage format. And that's how you'll get the desired results. I have a dataset with items and their corresponding quantities. I'd put a drop-down list in cell C15 and calculate the percent of the total quantity of an item in cell C16. When I select an item from the list, cell C16 will show the percent of the total quantity based on that item. In cell C13, calculate the total quantity of the items using the sum function. The formula is equal to sum as the number one argument select cells in the C5 to C11. Close the parenthesis and press enter. Now, I'll make a drop-down list of the items in cell C15. So, select cell C15, go to the Data tab. In the Data Tools group of commands, you'll get the Data Validation option. Click on this command icon. 
you will get the data validation dialog box. In the settings tab, choose the list option from the allow drop down icon. Select it. Now in the source box, I'll put the cell reference of B5 to B11 and click OK. Now you can see that a drop down arrow is inserted beside cell C15. Click on the drop down icon to see the list. You can see that only the unique items are added here. There are two apples here, but in the list, there's just one. So it has only unique entries. In cell C16, I want to calculate the percent of the total quantity of the item from the list. For this, I'll combine the sum if function and an Excel formula. The formula in C16 will become equal to sum if as the range argument, I'll select B5 to B11, comma, as the criteria argument, select cell C15, place a comma, and as the sum range argument, I'll select cells in the C5 to C11 range, close the parenthesis, put a division symbol, select cell C13. It calculates the sum of specific numbers in C5 to C11 based on whether the corresponding values in B5 to B11 matches the value in cell C15. And then it divides the sum by the value in cell C13. Press enter. Now apply the percentage format in cell C16 like before. Select the cell, go to the home tab and click on the percent style icon. Now click on the drop down icon and select orange from the drop down list. You will get the percent of the total quantity of orange automatically. If you select another item, the result will change automatically. You can get the total from the percentage in Excel by dividing part with the percentage value. I have a data set with some products, their prices after discount and percentage of discount. I want to calculate the original product price from percentage of the discount. In cell E5, calculate the product price from percentage of discount. So I input the formula in this cell equal to C5 divided by opening parenthesis 1 minus D5 close the parenthesis. Here, 1 minus D5 first calculates how much of the original price you are paying after the discount. For example, if the discount is 20%, which is 0 0.20 as a decimal, then 1 minus D5 gives you 0 0.80, meaning you are paying 80% of the original price. Then, the entire formula takes the discounted price C5 and divides it by the fraction we just calculated. This gives you the original price as it effectively reverses the discount to find the full price before any reductions. Press enter and see the magic happens. Also use the fill handle tool. In this tutorial, I have shown multiple real life applications to calculate percentage of total in Excel. Follow them carefully to do it yourself. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and VVA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.